Hey everybody, welcome back to another film of the week. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel as of late. I uh, just got done watching this and uh, I am hoping that this will be a short review, mainly because I have some dinner waiting and I just would like to get into some of that watermelon that I'm looking at right now. Um, so I'm going to try to keep this brief, um, but uh, we're going to be discussing for today something that I was curious to watch for a while and figured just to dedicate this week because uh, um, initially I was going to review a Yorgos Lahimos film to get ready for Kinds of Kindness because I actually will be checking that out um, but I'm going to be saving that for next week actually so stay tuned for that. So I have an opening to just kind of pick at random and I figured to watch this because like I said I was curious and I actually have seen the director's work after this and curious to see if the noise surrounding this film lives up to the, the hype and intro. So, so the film we're going to be discussing today is Under the Skin, which was co-written and, and directed by Jonathan Glazer, who we have discussed on this channel before with a film called The Zone of Interest, which I wasn't too big on. I felt it ran narratively thin, technically interesting, but more narratively thin, kind of repetitive in its nature. And this, I... I'm not sure if it's to his directorial debut or not, but stars Scarlett Johansson as a female. And as the film's introduced uh, through uh, through various uh, abstract kind of visuals form forming the basis, kind of in some ways echoing that of Ghost in the Shell, in that it is the formation of what you come to realize of a extraterrestrial being or something not of this world. And... It takes the form of a woman, and that woman is played by Scarlett Johansson, and her objective, it seems, is to uh, collect specimens, mainly that in, in men, and as we see at one point in the film, we uh, see that the specimens are quite literally just, uh, just being sucked up, and then just at one point, rather just, just popping in a pretty startling image, I must say. Um, and during her uh, objective, she becomes more inter intertwined with, within humanity and discovers more possibilities for her own future and what she can um, what she can do outside of her objective. And she learns more emotionally and much more valuing in her in feelings and tries to mingle and tries to connect with humanity as her being extraterrestrial, it is rather difficult. But... That's ultimately the progression of the film, is her learning to discover that of her own humanity and, um, and getting more rudimentary under the skin and not just, you know, just concerning herself with the outside, you know, and thinking more about the inside, how she is feeling. So, and the expression of, the, of that is very nonverbal. Uh, the film is very much visually driven. There are selections of dialogue here and there, but mainly it is a lot to do with the literal of what we are seeing, and a lot of the strength to do with the performances with Scarlett Johansson leading that. And what you get from it in a thematic quality is a few things. There is obviously with the sing singling out of, of masculine figures, it's making a comment on such a thing in that the vulnerability in men, while also the, also the uh, toxicities within men, um, the, the gentleness perhaps in men, you know, there's, she meets very specific figures throughout the course of the film. She meets people who are just, you know, and speaking purely on a masculine front, people who are just kind of just abrasive or just like kind of do whatever, kind of go with the flow sort of thing. People who are outsiders, people who are more considerate, more kind and gentle. And then there's who are just frankly, just assholes. So, you know, it, is very much about that. Um, and above all that, of course, it is about the art of seduction, you know, how it, one seduces, you know, a, a vic their victims or in a kind of predatorial kind of um, serial killer-like uh, style. Um, and those ideas, while interesting for the first hour, is, until we get to that point of when we start to actually look under the skin of that character, it runs rather repetitive. And I've I'm noticing that as an issue within Jonathan Glazer's work is that he 
chooses to be quite repetitive in his overall narrative, what is being fed to us in the story. Visually, I think that it's quite impressive. I think that uh, what keeps Under the Skin interesting is a lot to do with what it's doing in technicality. A lot of this abstract imagery, a lot of the variate, variations of just what we're literally seeing, her, how she, the, the, the mul multiple times of when we see her luring her victims into that like pool of like black water, that's very interesting. And just by aesthetic, just by how shots are framed, by how just very, these large, wide shots that like just very, very just distant shots, they're very, very interesting and they're very visually just very nice to look at. Um, but at some point, and ultimately it's how I feel with Under the Skin, is that it is more or less a visual flirt in that it is more of a a piece that you're interested in looking at and not necessarily in much of understanding it because of, well, the film itself being rather rather blatant in what it's about. Like I said, it is about touching on masculinity and touching on um, on the vulnerability within that. And and within that, about after that first hour, it is then become, it, it's, it's, like the way to put it is that the first hour is all external, and then the second bit of hour is the is is in, internal. So, so and I and I that might be intended. I don't know, but um, but for me for for having to sit through an hour of pretty much a repetitive motion of her luring men and then and then looking for men, luring men and lure, looking for men, it does get quite repetitive, and it runs pretty thin on a narrative front. Visually, it is quite interesting, but narratively, it is quite thin. Um, and then it gets a little bit of a boost in that last hour when she does start to feel on the inside, and she starts to reconsider things and move about in her own way. Um, but that doesn't really... It, it, there's an hour of, that, of it where I am kind of not really punched out, but just not really as involved. And when that second hour appears, I, I do get a little bit of a of an intrigue, but it's not enough to where I am now completely engulfed in its in its world or in its really rich atmosphere because I mean tonally speaking it is quite dense. And visually it is quite dense, but what it is lacking a lot in, in its uh, in its filmmaking is a lot to do with how it is presenting its story, literally in its narrative. There's just not much to chew on as much as there is visually speaking. So um, I appreciate a lot of the craftsmanship that's that's being taking place here, like on a technical front, the fact that it is very nonverbal, and a lot of just again what we're quite literally seeing how we see how like that that that, that popping shot of when that guy pops, it is quite startling and it's something very, very unique. Um, and again, just literally by cinematography, by just how shots are framed and all that, it looks really, really nice. And how it plays to the concept of the film, visually speaking, certain th ideas, it's interesting. But it is, again, uh, like I said before, it's more or less a visual flirt. It's something that you're interested in looking at, but not very much in what it's saying, because ultimately... There isn't much that it is really saying, or that it is have saying something, but it is just not resonating as much because of how much the filmmaking leans at the start on a repetitive nature, and then decides in the ha halfway through to escape that sphere and just go in a in a much more straight line. So, and at that point, I just am kind of tuned out. So, and then in what we are viewing from that second hour, again. It, it's a it's a little bit of a notch up, but again, it's not anything that is like game changing. It's not going to make me reconsider that that hour or really make me feel as if the whole endeavor is worthwhile. It just gives it a little boost, but not much. So, um, so I think that technically it's very very interesting. I think that there's a lot of interesting visuals in it. Um, I love, generally speaking, how it is crafted. I think this tone is very rich. Um, but what it lacks, again, and I think it's just an issue that I'm having with the filmmaker, is that it just narratively doesn't have much there to be desired. Um, 
So I enjoy the nonverbal approach. I enjoy just some of the abstract imagery. I enjoy the overall tone. There is an eerie eeriness that is felt throughout, but mainly due to do with technicality and not to do with the narrative, not to do with the character that we're following. It has everything to do with just technicals, technical technicalities. So, so if you're interested in just a solid craftsmanship, literally that solid filmmaking, solid technicality, solid cinematography. If you're just interested in all that stuff, Under the Skin will provide that for you. But if you're looking for a rich narrative to supply those visuals, it's just not a film that has that. So, at least for me anyway. So, And to note, Scarlett Johansson, I mean, she's fine. I mean, it's not anything notable. She doesn't really have to do much. I mean, she... She puts in a good effort. She's her expressions are, um, are um, are are subtle but also informative. It gives you an internal look in, in that second hour. Because that second the second hour also it feels as though that that performance also feels validated. It feels like now there is a there is life to that character. And again, I get that the progression of that story is to see the life of that character, is to see that character evolve in a, in a more into eternal sense but but that progression doesn't feel it just doesn't supply much it just doesn't really rein in much in terms of my engagement and my investment it just is all to do with the visuals and under the skin is visually impressive it is absolutely visually impressive but narratively speaking just not much there so so, so yeah, so there's my thoughts on Under the Skin. I think it's okay. It's it's not anything noteworthy. I think visually it's interesting, but that's really nothing more I can say than just that. And I'm just kind of going in circles now, kind of like the first hour of the film. <laughs> I'm just kind of going in, just going in circles, just saying that I really like the visuals. But that's as far as I'll take it. Narratively, it's not bad, but it's just, just like a zone of interest. It's just... It's just them, at least for me anyway. So, But you guys know your thoughts on Under the Skin, if you guys have seen it, uh, your thoughts on just this filmmaker in general. Is this his directorial debut? Oh, shit. Is this his directorial debut? Let me know in the comment section below. Your thoughts on this and your thoughts on the zone of interest. All things Jonathan Glazer, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. And until then, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.